Hey everybody, it's Robbie 0626195 here for more Earthbound. In the last part, we started in these sewers here, um, just kind of exploring Foresight's sewers, and I said I take the I took the liberty of getting healing all up and getting our PP back up using the magic butterfly room here. I have done so. Oh jeez! Oh no! This is not something I would have wanted to happen. Okay, guys, it's, it's just a stinky ghost. I will, I will just fight a stinky ghost, and then I will go, go back in there and grab my magic, magic butterfly because uh, this is kind of silly that I just came out of this room and now I have a fight. <laughs> Even though the entire time of me doing that before, I didn't have a fight encounter with me going in and out of the room. Hey, good, he got solidified. That's good. Tiny, this tiny little ghost is going to cause some issues whenever we go to fight the area boss. There we go. Stinky ghost is dead. I won! And, wow. No level up that time. Please go in. Thank you. Magic butterfly, please give me my PP back that I just used in that battle. Thank you. Now let's hope that doesn't happen again. I mean, if it does, it does not like it doesn't matter because uh, we can just grind up off of that and just keep going back in and healing using the uh, magic butterfly. I like the magic butterfly rooms. They they definitely knew what they were doing whenever they were uh, whenever they were designing the dungeons. They put in that room that most always spawns a magic butterfly so that whenever uh, you go in and you need healing, uh, like during like midway through the dungeon, you have that opportunity. All right, as you can see up there, there is the dungeon boss. We ended off the last part. We didn't have much left of this dungeon, but nonetheless, there he is. We're all healed up. We have all of our PP. Let's do this thing. You finally got here. This is the fifth your sanctuary, lo sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. All right, this is the Playgrat of Doom. Playgrat of Doom is, has 1,827 HP. He is partially weak to fire, can bash, use a biting attack for a high level damage, bite using poisonous fangs, which is also high level and poisons, or have a big grin on his face, which doesn't do anything. All right, so he's only weak to fire, so there's no uh, reason to use uh, our... Uh, any of our assisting stuff here. This just only does it to one of us. We don't have a fully uh, a full shield for everybody yet. So I uh, so for right now. I'm just gonna start off with the rock and beta. Um, he's weak to fire mostly, so I'm gonna use our gamma. Um, you can um, fire a big bottle rocket. Sure, why not? And Poo, since it's the only thing you have, let's use... Actually, no, what do you have? Uh, you have Shield Sigma. Uh, would that be worth it? Maybe. Uh, sure, why not? Let's use Shield Sigma. Just missed. Fire Gamma, go! Here we go, Shield Sigma. So we got... Sh we all have Shields of Light. That will protect us a little bit. <laughs> we protected the tiny little ghost? Why? Ow, jeez! Oh, and wow, it just powered one through the sh one time through the shield. That's great. Okay. Uh, definitely need to heal up Paul up, or else Paul is going to die. Uh, PSI. Fire. Gamma. Uh, yes. You continue with your firing. Um, oops, no, I don't want you to defend. Um, I want you to shoot. Poo, you are also going to... Actually, no, there's no point of both trying to. Uh, Ness, you stick to your rockin'. Uh, Paula, you can go back to fire. Uh, Jeff, you will shoot. And Poo, you will use life up beta on Paula. Hopefully that will work. Did not work on Poo! That would have been bad, or else she, Paula would not not have gotten healed. Oh jeez. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Paul's maxed out. Rock and beta, go. 222, okay, that's good. 
Okay, rocket again. Uh, go back to your fire more. Uh, Jeff, you can shoot. Pooh, please use your healing on... Or your life up, not healing. It's two different things. Use it on Jeff, please. <laughs> Just missed. Fire! Go! Rocket... Woo, Ness went second? That's a surprise. Pooh's going last. All right, Jeff's maxed out. Good, good. Um, he's not. He's not. Doesn't have too much HP left, and Paul is only just poisoned. That poison attack does a lot less damage than his regular attack. That's good. Uh, and just in case, you can use healing on Paula. Did not work on Ness. Paula felt pain. Took that. Fire. Go. Go poisonous fangs. Jeff got poisoned as well. Poison was moved from Paula's body. To Jeff, 18 damage. Let's see, 123. Yes, we did it. Playground of Doom is dead, and we get 28,818 experience each. Ness is now level 46. Oh, baby. Offense up by 3. Vitality up by 1. Max HP up by 11. Paul is 41. Offense up by 1. Max HP up by 3. Max PP up by 2. Jeff is 41. Offense up by 1. Speed up by 1. Max HP up by 3. Pooh is now level 27. Offense up by 2. Defense up by 1. Speed up by 1. Max Max HP up by 3. Max PP up by 2. Pooh got Magnet Omega. Pooh is 28. Oh, baby, offense up by 4. Oh, baby, defense up by 5. Speed up by 1. Guts up by 1. Vitality up by 1. IQ up by 1. Luck up by 1. Max HP up by 7. Max PP up by 2. Pooh is 29. Max HP up by 1. That last one was a bit of a dud, but the first one of Pooh's, that was pretty good. Alrighty. Jeff is taking damage. Anyway, we have made it to our fifth sanctuary location. Ness saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. Alright. Let's go ahead and listen to that song and see what we've gotten so far. Ness touched the soundstone to his forehead and gathered his thoughts. That's that. We got Magnet Hill. We got the melody there. Ness opened the chest. Whoa! There's a carrot key inside. Ness takes it. A carrot key, eh? That's interesting. What is this carrot key? Help! Carrot key. A special type of bunny's favorite carrot. Interesting. Well, you remember, we encountered some bunnies whenever Pooh was in Dalam. Maybe these are the bunnies that we need to give the key to? Not sure. <laughs> now that we've beaten the boss, all the enemies are running away from us. Let's see if, can we one-shot this guy now? Nope, not enough. He still, he still does enough, has enough HP, and we don't do enough damage to take him out in one turn. Right, it seems like. Unless Ness does that, then in, the, then in that case we can take him out in one turn. But the game doesn't calculate for smash attacks, of course, because we don't. You don't always get a guaranteed smash attack, so that can't be uh, a guaranteed one-turn kill. So we can't just take him out. Hmm. Attack roaches, however, maybe. Let's see. I want to experiment. Attack roach, can we kill you in one shot? Yes, we can! Ha ha! Attack roach, you have been killed! So that could be useful. If you see the attack roaches around, you can run it. You can bump into them. And take them out. Uh, stinky ghosts, I'm pretty sure uh, we won't be able to take them out because they have a lot of defense. But luckily, they run away from us now, so we won't have to worry about them. We can just let them walk away. But unfortunately, 
Even though everything's running away from us, whenever we engage battle, they'll still try and want to join us, so... We can't just go up and boop one of them, even though, um, we could kill it. Because the other ones will be like, oh hey, I want to join in on that too. Even though they know they're running away, afterwards they'll just be all like, oh no, never mind, I want to get in on this fight. If you're joining, then I should join too. Strength in numbers, right? Something like that. Or so, I've been told. <laughs> Uh, just gotta slog through the sewers to get back out of here. Um, I think we've got one more, one more ladder, and we should be at our point to get out. Those trash cans are clipping through each other. So silly. Uh, yep, there's the ladder to get out of here. So sewers ladder is right here. It's kind of like a pool ladder. I wonder why they designed these. Who's just gonna be climbing, climbing down into the sewer water like that? I'm not sure. A little weird. All right, out of the sewers we go. And we only had to leave the dungeon once just because Pooh died. All right, thanks a lot, Pooh. You're the best. Normally, if you can get uh, through the uh, alive through the dungeon up to the uh, middle point, um, and you get to that magic butterfly room, you should be good for the rest of it. And upon leaving the Dinosaur Museum, we are encountered with the Photo Man! Pictures taken instantaneously, I'm a photographic genius, if it is myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph, it always protect the fondest of memories. Cool, photo has been taken with the Photo Man. Photo Man, Photo Man of the powerful photos. Well, I guess now that we're done here, there's not much left for us to do. There's a magic butterfly. We can go do that. I'm thinking, since Jeff has a lot of broken stuff, we should go to somewhere where we can sleep for free, such as Saturn Valley. So we can go ahead and try and grind out some of them broken weapons and see what we can get. Alright, I'm not sure if they're broken weapons. There's broken items, I should say. Uh, let's see. You want slumber? Yes, KO! Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken tube. After being fixed, the broken tube became the hungry HP sucker. Okay. So now that means we have, in, our in, in Jeff's inventory, the hungry HP sucker. So that means that the regular HP sucker should be considered... Um, depreciated because it's not the hungry one. Give this back to Jeff. So, because of that, I'm not. We're, I'm going to be calling X Cargo Express so they can take that away from us, but not right yet. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep for a little bit longer to see if I can get more Jeff to fix more items. Where are you through the night? Jeff fixed the broken iron. After being fixed, the broken iron became the slime generator. Cool. So now Jeff has the slime generator as well. Now we all we have left is the broken spray can and the um, broken bazooka. I really want to fix that broken bazooka because I'm pretty sure that makes uh, for a pretty good weapon of Jeff's. At least I think that's one of them. There's a we there's a weapon that Jeff has in this game that you don't equip, you just use. So. It's a little bit confusing whenever that one comes up. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken spray can. After being fixed, the broken spray can became the defense spray. Okay, now we got a defense spray. Cool. One more item, the broken bazooka. Let's see if we can get Jeff to fix that four nights in a row, or if I'm going to have to RNG this a little bit. I'm going to have to RNG this a little bit. All right, I'll continuously sleep until maybe I can get it fixed, or um, I just give up and be like, well, I, Jeff's IQ is not high enough. Alrighty. Okay, I'm just going to assume Jeff's IQ stat is not high enough right now. So I'm going to call Escargo Express. So we can, yes, pick up some items from us that Jeff does not need anymore. Or that I'm going to deem that Jeff does not need anymore. I can't speak for Jeff himself, but I'm the one controlling Jeff. So whatever I say goes. Just go ahead and dance in a circle here for a little bit. Wait until Escargo Express shows up. There they are. Hello, Escargo Express. Delivery charges $18. You can cover the bill. Yes. You can take three things. Let's see. What do we want him to take? 
Uh, let's see. Now that we have the neutralizer, the shield killer is not very needed anymore. Because the shield killer has a chance of not working, whereas the neutralizer will work all the time. The only problem with the, that is that the neutralizer does it to everybody. Yes. Neutralizer. And... I mean, the shield killer. And the regular HP sucker. Uh, let me just parse through my inventory once more. Let's see if I can need to be taking anything else. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Da. No, it looks like we're good right now. This quest, we want to take Shield Killer and the HP Sucker. That is correct. Certainly, thanks a lot. Okay. Now Jeff's inventory has a bit more space in it. And we are now going to use... Not that one. We're going to use Pooh's new teleport beta. So we can teleport to Dalam. Let's -a go to Dalam. Let's woohoo! And then off we go. All right, everyone. Pooh has brought everyone to his home country of Dalam. I am assuming it's a country. And upon trying to enter the palace, we are greeted by none other than the Photo Man. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photograph cheese if it is himself. Okay, get ready for instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It always brings back the fondest of memories. Okay, photo has been taken by the photo man. Let us go inside the palace and see what's going on. Hello, Prince Pooh, you're my favorite. Tee -hee. She says the same thing. She said that last time. What if any of these people in here say anything different? There's the phone guy. And upon going up to the throne, guess who it is again? It is the Photo Man! Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photo of a genius if it is himself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles. Well, what a great photograph. I always react the fondest of memories. Wow, two photos back to back. That's crazy. The future battle will be considered dangerous than you expect. Don't be careless. Okay, he just heals you. Good. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you for healing me. Didn't you meet up with many monsters along the way recently? Several bad incidents occurred in this peaceful country. Oh, well, that's not good. Yep, you can just call everyone from there that you can from a normal phone. It doesn't matter that it's just some dude whose hair looks like a phone. It is actually a phone. Funny, huh? Ha! <laughs> cool. Alright, let's just walk around uh, Dalam real quick, see if there's anything going on. Um, I don't think there's much going on. I think, I think nothing, not, not much changes between your encounter here with Pooh. Prince Pooh has good relationships with foreigners. What an ina international person. Oh, that's cool. Some flavor text from these people. Please come in and look around the house. That's the same. Now let's just explore Delama's nest. This is Ness's first time here, so he doesn't know what this is like. So there are so many monsters around recently. We can't have, we can't relax and have fun. Weep. Oh, that's bad. Not good whenever monsters just start invading your hometown. Didn't need any garlic, so the room doesn't stink. Oh, I don't like, think I've actually ever realized that little detail. That the lady that's cooking garlic before was now not making any garlic, so it doesn't stink. I wonder if Prince Pooh succeeded in moo training. I want him to come by and show me his best barnyard impression. Haha! <laughs> she still thinks it's about cows, so... No, not quite, lady. You know that you do everything well. Do do everything well. Yes. That popped me up. That tricked me up again. I'm pretty sure that tricked me up last time, too. I just record, I just edited that, so I'm pretty sure it did. Waiting for Prince Pooh to see me and say I love you. Well, I think you're going to be waiting along for that. He's busy saving the world. Oh, yeah. This thing about recovering... Uh, recovering uh, PP using water. That's something only... Um, Pooh can do. If you try and uh, have anyone else drink water, their PP will not recover. That's just a Pooh thing because he went through that training. Let's see. I think maybe there was something else in here. I forget what happens when you go back up to this place. This is Moo, the place of nothingness. <laughs> After I kept on reading this as palace while I was editing, I was just kind of yelling at myself, being like, What were you thinking? It says place, not palace. What are you talking about? 
think when you go up here something happens. Nope, nothing happens. I thought maybe there was a photo location up there. That would have been funny. There have been like three photo locations in the past like five minutes that we would have encountered. And that's a little bit too much, I suppose. Anyway, let's just go ahead and go down here to these rabbits. As strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking your way. No. Well, we did get that carrot key. Let's use it. Has to use the carrot key. How strange! The rabbits and carrots disappeared all at once. Okay. What's in here? Hmm. Looks like another dungeon. Well, we just finished one dungeon and we fought a boss in this uh, episode. So, I think I'm just going to end it off here. And in the next part, we can explore that dungeon. So, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.